What's up guys? Welcome to the first video in a tutorial series. Now, you might know me for making Psych Engine tutorials, but I do the source code version of Psych Engine. So today marks the start of a series where I teach you how to make it in the compiled version. So today we'll be adding some characters. So just launch your game. Next you're going to you're going to want to um, you're going to want to go to this menu right here and press seven on your keyboard. Seven. Just to make that clear. And then the character editor. And here we are in the character editor. So I recommend you go to character. You just go ahead and select Dad as your character base. Now, here's where you're gonna have to actually do something. Um, so you're gonna need to grab your character file, which I didn't actually have prepared. Give me a second. All right. So you're going to want to go into mods. Images, characters, and paste your assets and XML, like your image and XML. Now relaunch your game and enter your image name. So, wedding underscore assets for me, I think. Yep. And now, you wanna make sure. Your character is lined up. Well enough. So then you're going to want to enter your help icon now. So images, icons. Alright, so you're going to want to put in your icon. Now, I don't... In I don't really have a um, actual icon for him, so I'm just going to be using icon face. But, if you, so you're going to want to name it icon, and then your character name. So let's just say icon foot. And then health icon name, going back to our game, Foot. <clears throat> So, next you can change the health bar's color to whatever you want. I mean, I don't really know, I'll just do an orange, I guess. Now you're going to want to go into the animations tab and select idle. And then you're going to want to go back into your files and go into your XML and see what your XML names are for each animation. So for idle, it's Fweddy Idle. So let's do Fweddy Idle. And then for the idle, and then add update. Sing left. Obviously left in twenty left. You've seen down. Oh. I guess that wasn't made meant to be a thing. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. 
but for the animations, it should be sing and then in all capitals the animation. Just make sure you do that. So sing down. Sing up. And then footy up. And then sing right. And footy right. And then you should see some loop things. They don't really matter. So, then you're gonna wanna press save character. And then you're going to want to go into mods, characters, and then character.json. Make sure this isn't images characters. Make sure you just go to mods and characters. Then save. Now let's go back into the files. Now if we go back here, we'll obviously see our JSON file. Now you're gonna wanna scroll down a bit. And you should start to see the animation offsets. Now, I'm not sure if there's actually a way to make animation offsets in-game. Um, I can't really find a way to. Uh, I just don't exactly see anything. But, so you're going to want to go into your text file. And you should see offsets and then your animation down here. You can just manually adjust the offsets. I do believe for this character, it's literally just zero for every animation. So after you've done that, you're gonna wanna go out of the character editor. You're gonna wanna go into a song. Any song works. Let's just... Hold on, let me turn up the volume side. It's not a lot awkward. Alright. Then you're going to want to change your opponent to your opponent that you just created. Three, two, one. Now let's say your offsets were messed up. Then you can just adjust them like this. And then you can restart the song. And then... So you can just test the changes without even having to open close your game. So yeah, that's it for this custom character tutorial. Um, at 50 likes, I will release the next tutorial. Um, a, it's going to be the week and dialogue tutorial. But yeah, bye guys.